you're watching Google AI news where I break down the latest updates across all Google AI products and show you how to use them in your workflow. That includes everything from Gemini to Workspace, AI tools for developers, and any other update that's going to make your life easier. This week, Google has just launched Opal, a new tool that lets you build mini AI apps using natural language and then share them with no code needed. Google Drive now lets you interact with videos in the site panel to get insights, summaries, and ask questions. Image to video is coming to Google Photos and YouTube Shorts, so soon you'll be able to turn your photos into short clips on your phone for free. And we've even got some impressive features for online shopping. There's so much more I have to show you, but before we start, if you'd like to stay ahead of everything happening in Google AI, make sure to follow me on X for daily updates and subscribe to this channel so you never miss another episode like this again. Let's get right into it. Let's start off with image to video features that are rolling out to Google Photos and YouTube Shorts. So soon you'll be able to turn photos in your gallery to videos with just a couple of clicks. That's going to be perfect for creating content or just bringing your memories to life. And the best news is that this feature is going to be free. So you won't need a Gemini subscription to create the videos. You'll just need to go to the Google Photos app, pick a photo you'd like to animate, Choose to either add subtle movements or I'm feeling lucky for AI to freestyle it. And that's going to generate a six second clip with VO2. Like this photo of a girl that turned into her making a heart with her hands, holding a bunch of balloons or wearing sunglasses. You'll also be able to remix your photos and turn them into any style like 3D character, cartoon or a sketch. The kind of thing you'd now use ChatGPT for but inside of Google Photos, you'll just need to pick a style, let's say 3D counter, and then upload your photo, say of you and your wife, hit generate, and now you both look like 3D characters at your wedding. All these photo transformation features will be integrated inside the new Create tab in Google Photos that is going to act as a hub for all of your AI projects and make all of the AI tools easy to find. They're currently rolling out in the US for Android and iOS users, but I'm sure if you're not in America, you'll be able to access them with a VPN once they roll out. Next up, we've got online shopping features that were previously only available in Search Labs as a limited experiment, but now I'm are fully launching in the US so soon you'll be able to just go to any listing or Google image and then tap the try it on icon like with this listing of a romper then just upload a full-length photo yourself and within moments you'll see how terrible it actually looks without perfect posing and lighting so you'd only invest in clothes that actually look good on you they're also launching price alerts they'll track when the item you want drops to your budget you'll just need to open any listing click track price, choose your budget and the preferred colors, and Google will automatically monitor price drops and notify you when it matches. Imagine just how much money you could save with this feature, especially around Christmas. You could just add all the gifts you want to buy to your tracking lists and order them as the price drops, so you'll get the best deal on all of your items. Next, let's get into Google Workspace that has just changed the way we interact with videos in Drive. You can either upload your video here or have Google Meet or to save your recordings. I have this 14 minute team meeting call. And now when I click on the Gemini side panel, you can see the video summary here straight away with the most important points discussed. I can also choose some of the presets, say list action items, show key topics, this the meeting agenda, or I can just ask a specific question or give a prompt in the chat box. So let's say generate a list of post-meeting action items sorted by participants and send that in. And there we have the list of everything our team needs to do. Now we can take it to the next level by going to Gemini, choosing Canvas, pasting in our actions items, and then say, generate an interactive dashboard with a summary, tasks in each category, check boxes next to each one, and Gemini is going to start coding and visualize everything the team needs to do. And here's a dashboard with the task list separated by users. Now in the next meeting, I can share this with my team. We can take things off the list and the progress bar will go up. 
This way we can make sure we completed everything we discussed in the previous call. Now I'm just going to go back to drive and say highlight performance improvements, bugs and errors for fixing. And here we have our list. I'll paste it into Gemini Canvas again, but now ask it to visualize our performance, bugs and errors interactively. And this is the final dashboard we got. I can see what bugs needs fixing, how we can improve our performance. And you can use this workflow for pretty much any video content. Like you could transform your lectures into interactive quizzes or clips into scripts. This feature is just awesome. Next up, we have a new experimental tool called Google Opal that lets you build and share AI mini apps all with natural language and visual editing. So you can create custom products productivity AI apps without knowing how to code with features like video and audio generation. To use it, you're just going to go to opalwithgoogle.com. And if you're not in the US, make sure you use a VPN. I'm just using a free version of the US one here. And when you sign in, you'll get redirected to this dashboard with all of the apps. From him, you can either create an app from scratch or choose one of the templates and then remix them. Let's go with the Learn with YouTube app. I'm just going to open it and you'll see that you can either use it in the app window. I'm just going to upload my YouTube video link and you'll see that it's going to analyze my video and give me a final report with the quiz. Or I can click editor and you'll see the app's entire workflow in kind of like a mirror board style. It's first collecting the URLs, extracting the trash kit, generating the quiz, giving me a final report. You can see how all of the steps connect and that makes it super easy to modify it in the future. So say you'd like to add another feature like choosing a language of the final reports. To make changes, you're just going to press remix. And now you can suggest your edits here. I'll say before generating the report, inquire what language the user would prefer and then generate the output in requested language. And as you can see, it already added language choice along with the YouTube video link at the beginning of our workflow. So now when we go to the app, we first paste in our YouTube link and then it gives us the window to type out the language we want. Let's say Spanish. And now it's going to go through the video and generate the final output in the language we chose. This is what we've got in Spanish. Looks really good. I can also share this app with one of my colleagues by just hitting share app at the top, copy the link and send it to anyone. This tool is absolutely game changing and you can integrate other features. For example, video generation, like in this video marketer app that researches the product, creates the ad text and then generates the video using Vio. We can also add image generation, like in this app that creates social media posts. The options are really endless. I'd love to make a more dedicated video about it, showing you actually useful ads you can build with this feature. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to comment Opal down below. Next up, we've got even more exciting news for developers. We now have Gemini 2.5 flashlight generally available in the API. This is the cheapest model in the 2.5 family, so you can build super powerful apps at a fraction of the cost. To try it out, you're just going to hand over to Google AI Studio and click on the drop down menu. You can see here that the pricing compared to other 2.5 models is extremely low. The input is only going to cost you about 10 cents per 1 million tokens and the output is about 40 cents. You'll see that the flash model is about $2.50 for the output. So this quite an extreme difference. The best way to see how this model is going to work in your app is by creating a prototype and you can do this by heading over to the build section in AI Studio and choosing the Gemini OS app because you'll see here that it uses Gemini Gemini 2.5 flashlight as the main model and in the prompt box in code assistant you're just going to say remove the current UI and app functionality but leave Gemini 2.5 flashlight and then say what prototype you'd like to build. I'm just going to say translate casual phrases into legal language just to test it out and I'm also going to say display the price of input and output once the translation is done, considering the price is 10 cents for input and 40 for output per 1 million tokens. And as you can see, it's going to start coding and it's just removed the UI. And here we have a prototype running on Gemini 2.5 flash light. Let's go ahead and say you owe me money and you see how quickly it translated it. I'm doing this in real time and you can also see how much this query would cost. 
Now, let's try it with a much larger amount of text, like this story written in American slang. And as you can see, just translated it almost immediately, and we only spent a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00026 cents. So this model is super cheap and extremely efficient. So that's it for today's episode. Comment down below which feature you loved the most. I'm super excited about Opal. I think the possibility of building back and front end of an app with just a couple of prompts is super impressive. It really comes to show that soon developers will just be people who type up a couple of prompts, check that everything works, and then deploy the app with minimal coding knowledge. If you've been living under a rock for the past few weeks, make sure to catch up with all of the latest Gemini features in this playlist. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.